Hi students, uh, today uh, we are going to see uh, electronic devices or semiconductor devices lesson. You know what is meant by a semiconductor? Yeah. So a semiconductor is a device which conducts electricity partially. So if we take uh, two main elements which are used as semiconductor devices, they are germanium and silicon. And uh, the forbidden energy gap for germanium is 0.7 electron volt and for silicon it is 1.1 electron volt. So when we apply some heat energy or some light energy to the valency electrons which are present in the valency band then those valency electrons are easy to jump into the conduction band. When we consider any conductor the forbidden energy gap is very 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 less because both the valency band and conduction band of a conductor will be overlapped on each other. But in the case of insulator, especially if you take a glass, the forbidden energy gap will be 10 electron volt which is very very large. So it is very difficult for us to move the electrons from valency band to conduction band. So we need to apply more heat energy or light energy to the valence electrons. In the case of insulators like glass. Now, even a little amount of heat energy or light energy can be applied for a semiconductor, right? So, uh, so that the electrons can be made to move from the valency band to the conduction band. Okay, we know there are two types of semiconductors. They are intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors. Intrinsic semiconductor, extrinsic semiconductor. So intrinsic semiconductor is a semiconductor which is a pure semiconductor. Also we can say that which hasn't been added with any impurity atoms. So those impurity atoms uh, which are added to any pure semiconductor, they are called uh, uh, doping atoms or dopants. If we add doping atoms or impure atoms or impurity atoms to a pure semiconductor like an intrinsic semiconductor, then that type of semiconductor is called as extrinsic semiconductor. There are two types of uh, extrinsic semiconductor. N type semiconductor and P type semiconductor. So before we look on to the two types of extrinsic semiconductor, we must know what is going to be doping and what are the methods of doping. Yes, of course. So adding impurity atoms to any pure semiconductor is called doping. Okay. What type of atoms we can dope? into your pure semiconductor yes of course there are two types of atoms we can add as impurity atoms to your pure semiconductor so they are pentavalent atoms which are nothing but the mnemonics for them are BAPA so B for bismuth A for arsenic, P for phosphorus, and A for antimony, so BAPA, and other impurity atoms, trivalent atoms, so example, B, so B for boron 
I for indium, G for gallium. Right. So these are the trivalent atoms, and these are the pentavalent atoms, which can be added as impurity to a pure semiconductor. Okay. What will be a pentavalent atom? So pentavalent atom is nothing but uh, which has five valence electrons. So bismuth, arsenic, phosphorus, antimony, they have five valence electrons. And trivalent atoms mean those atoms which has uh, three valency electrons. So here boron, indium, gallium, they have uh, three valence electrons. So whenever these atoms are added, any of these two atoms, right, are added to a pure semiconductor, then accordingly they are called as n-type semiconductor and p-type semiconductor. So how to dope a pure semiconductor? Yes, there are three methods of doping. The first method, uh, we can uh, keep uh, the dopants in the molten form and then we can diffuse that molten state of uh, or molten form of that dopants or doping atoms into the semiconductor crystal like germanium or silicon or by heating the semiconductor crystal I can diffuse the impurity atoms into the hot semiconductor crystal or by bombarding the semiconductor crystal with the impurity atoms like pentavalent or trivalent atoms. So these are the three methods of doping your pure semiconductor, right? So in our next video, we will see uh, about the types of extrinsic semiconductor, N-type and P-type. Thank you.